from which God. See, the problem is, is that your God, the one that you keep claiming is so real, is only about four to six thousand years old. Your particular religion is two thousand years old. Um, the and the th the third of messianic religions is about fifteen hundred years old. The the thing about it is, is that your numbers are actually wrong. Um, when you have entire countries like Japan and China that don't believe in a god, 90% is complete bullshit. But also, the amount of gods there was before your god, how do you know that those gods are not real and your god is real? That's the problem. Explain how your god is real, and all of these other gods that have origin stories, uh, holy books, uh, traditions, some of them dating far, way farther back than your religion. How come theirs is wrong? Yours is right. Yeah. Oh, and as far as far as your um, your concept, um, he, here's the thing. Nothing has ever been proven to create itself. I'm shocked that you don't understand that. The Big Bang came from somewhere. We don't know where yet. No one in their right mind is stating that it came from nowhere. Except for those people who are trying to disprove that it came from nowhere by using whatever religious faith that they happen to have at that point. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Prove that your God is the real God. And then we can talk about the origin of that God. Until you can prove that your God is the real God, then talking about his origin is absolutely devoid of purpose. You have to first pro prove. There's three things you have to prove. Okay. One, that your God exists. Two, that he is the real God. Three, how he got to exist. So far, you're wanting to tackle to question three when question one hasn't been answered. So, you want to talk about failure. You're, you're trying to say, using um, very childish means, that because we, you know, we you know, you get some atheist asking question three, you still have an answer to question one. Or question two. Question three is absolutely meaningless.